Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another option for adding content to your OneNote pages is to take what's called a screen clipping. You can use the screen clipping tool to capture an image of anything that's visible on your computer screen and then insert it into a OneNote page. To use this feature, first display the content that you wish to clip. Then open the notebook and page to which you wish to add the screen clipping. Go ahead and switch to OneNote here. And I think we'll go ahead and insert it on this Microsoft Office page that we made earlier. Next, click the Insert tab up in the ribbon. Then in the Images group, click the Screen Clipping button to launch the tool. When you do, OneNote will minimize to the taskbar while the screen clipping tool starts. You'll see this transparent white overlay and your cursor will turn into a small crosshairs icon. Just click and drag to define the area that you want to clip which will turn clear as you drag. When you're done, release your mouse and OneNote will automatically insert the clip into the page you had selected along with information on the date and time that the clip was taken and even the web page URL from which it was taken if it was a clipping from the web. You see that information down here at the bottom. To send a screen clipping to a new page in OneNote 2013, display the content that you want to clip. Let's go ahead and switch back to the internet. Then click or tap the screen clipping tile in the send to OneNote panel tool that appears in the Windows taskbar. We can go down to the Windows taskbar and there's our send to OneNote panel that we saw earlier. And I can click on screen clipping. Now you could also just hold down the Windows button on your keyboard and then tap the S key which will do the same thing. Now just click and drag with the screen clipping tool to define the area that you want to clip and then release your mouse which will display the select location in OneNote dialog box. Go ahead and do this. We'll click and drag and release. And here's the select location in OneNote dialog box. Now click the section into which you want to send the screen clipping. So first we are going to find, we have our recent picks up here, but we'll find our notebook that we're working on. And here is our sections, so we'll select products here. Now after we have selected the section, which is our product section, then all we need to do is click the Send to Selected Location button at the bottom of the dialog box. Now remember that you can always send the clipping to the Unfiled Notes or the Quick Notes section and move it later if you prefer, depending on what version you're using. In OneNote 2010, this process is virtually the same, except that you access the Create Screen Clipping command by right-clicking on the OneNote icon in the Windows taskbar and then selecting the command from the menu that appears. Everything else works in exactly the same way. Let's go ahead and switch back to OneNote here. Again, here's our Send to OneNote tool. If we go back into the OneNote program then, we'll see we have created our screen clipping here in a brand new page. And the page is called Office, office.com, because that's where we were on the internet. So that's how you create a screen clipping and send it to a brand new page instead of an existing one. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.